So, have you guys seen the world record meta on Warzone currently? I wanted to watch this yeah, and take a look at it so you guys could see what's going on. But basically, right now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Warzone, or if you've been playing it, um, you should know what's going on. But the Warzone right now, in order to get a cur current world record, is realistically just to use the airplane. And it's absolutely insane. This is some gameplay from Running Crutches. He's a content creator. You guys should definitely go check him out. Uh, but he is this massive low kill. He's playing with Marley and a couple other players. Uh, but what he's doing right now is he's using the airplane in Warzone. Now, this plane has been a thorn in everybody's side for a long time. Although, I do think some people actually enjoy using it. It's just kind of hard to say, like, is it worth it? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it Should it be back in Warzone? Uh, should it not be in Warzone? I'm um, sorry I muted the audio, but... I just wanted to kind of hear myself talk, but look how many kills he has already. He's got 21 kills and he's been in the game for maybe two minutes. Look at his face. He's already just like, dude, I got 21 kills. This is insanity. Um, but this is duos and he is already running 21 kills. Um, so in Warzone, obviously you have respawns, you have the buyback, you got the fire sale. So getting a high kill gameplay isn't as bad as it used to be. Like if you were playing the original map, uh, back on Verdansk, uh, basically players would die. You had fire sales, but fire sales are pre-programmed. So if you get into a good lobby, and he's in a monster lobby right now, 128 players remaining, 23 kills. There are so many people left in this game. So he has an opportunity to maybe have a fire sale, which allows people to buy their teammates back. And that happens usually, I think, third circle. Um, there's one every game, and you can just buy back your teammates for free. So that means you can stay in the plane, and get more kills later on if you haven't been shot down yet. And most people don't shoot planes down, which is kind of crazy um, to really watch like how much he's destroying this map right now. 27 kills is pretty nuts. And I think the bigger thing is with the combination of the fire sales, um, sometimes you get like a resurgence where people can just spawn back in. It's pretty rare. Uh, I don't know if they still do it, but it just uh, spawns everyone back in as well if they're still spectating. And with 116 up and 27 kills, this is probably one of the best runs I've seen so far using the plane. And I guess that really asks the next question. Should they allow the plane in Warzone? Is it a good feature? Is it a bad feature? Or is it something that we probably don't want? Uh, is this too cheap or too cheesy for Call of Duty? Is this, is this what we want of Call of Duty? Or is this more of a battlefield mechanic? And I'd be curious, like, you can even hear Marley in the background, another cool streamer you guys should go check out. Um, he streams over on Facebook Gaming. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. But he's even talking about how there's 114 players left. And that's pretty insane. 114 people up, 109. He's got 31 kills. Uh, but the crazier part here is, like, you can just decimate teams with this. There's no way to really shoot it down. Uh, if your squad is smart, everybody will turn around and just aim at it and just shoot it. And they can take the plane down somewhat quickly but you need to have a good ar you need to have smgs you need to have not smgs but you need to have like an ammo box or something because the biggest issue is planes are pretty quick you don't hear them until usually you get shot so the way that it works is a plane will dive bomb you and the first few bullets that hit you don't make any sound um so your so your health just disappears and then you're like, wait, where? why are my plates gone? And then you realize you're being shot because then you can hear the sound. Uh, occasionally you do hear a plane like, you know, like near, like kind of coming in, but it's somewhat rare. Um, you don't hear it constantly. It's just more so that the bullets hit you before you hear the sound. Uh, so it does give them a little bit of advantage. The hitbox area for the plane is pretty wide. Uh, if you don't run cold blooded, you can see people on your screen. It pops them up with the red dots. So it kind of gives a, you a location. Otherwise, I mean, I think if you were trying to balance a plane, you wouldn't be able to see where people are. You're moving too quickly. You're moving too fast. You have no way to see where people are on the ground. So it'd be very tough to find people if they weren't marked, in a sense. Uh, but you can always run Ghost or Cold-Blooded, you know, and, and run those perks, and it kind of keeps you invisible so you don't pop up on the map like this. It's just early on, you don't have the chance to get it. You have to wait for your loadout, which really makes the plane crazy strong when you think about it. Because you spawn in and you can't get your loadout for the first like five to 10 minutes until that timer goes away. And once you get your loadout, then you can have ghost or cold blooded, whichever one allows you to hide from the airplane. 
And at that point, the guy's already had 10 minutes to run around the map. He's got 91 players remaining, 37 kills. Now this is duos. Um, I'm imagining, I, I don't know, are they in, they might actually be in quads, uh, but I think they're playing as a duo and that's just going to allow them more kills, right? You're going to split the kill count between two players instead of one. So if you're chasing a PR, this is probably the best way to do it. And he hasn't even changed his plane yet, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, there's a lot of plane locations on the map. I think there's like six or seven different, like, I think there's like four airports, like airstrips. And then there's about six or seven more little locations where planes kind of just spawn near the roadway. And normally what'll happen, you'll get your plane shot down. Uh, another plane will chase you. Another plane will kill you. And you can pretty much just try to like land on another plane. I've seen a couple players do this for world records. Uh, they'll go from one plane. They see another one on the ground. They just ditch their current one. You know, it's like one HP. They just dive bomb right into the next one. They never get their loadout. They never get a gun. They stay in the plane the whole game for 30 minutes. And I'm really curious, like how the gameplay is going to slow down toward the end of this match. Cause this is going to go on for about like 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm really curious, like how many kills he's going to be able to pull out, you know, 80 remaining, but he already has 40 kills, 40 kills. And there's 80 people up still. That means players can buy back. Players can still have the fire sale so they can still buy back for free. We're not even close to that yet. It's only the second zone. Uh, it's about to start uh, the third zone. And he's even, even, even attacking vehicles here. Uh, this dude's a madman. Like, honestly, I've seen some of his gameplay before. Uh, and you guys, if you haven't looked at it, you definitely should. Um, his name's Running Crutches. He plays a lot with Marley and a couple other creators. But uh, this is the first time I saw one of his gameplays. And I just wanted to sit down and talk about it and ask you guys um, what your thoughts are on airplanes. Like, do you think that they should be in the game? Do you think that they deserve to be in Warzone? Uh, do you think that it kind of ruins the battlefield, not battlefield, but the total battle royale experience at least for what call of duty is or is it truly call of duty like is it something that casual players are going to enjoy is it something that adds value in a way he still has his gulag as well yeah i you got to remember uh players not just him but like players die they go to the gulag and they come back so even if he kills them early on they go to the gulag half of them are going to make it out of the gulag and then that's still extra players to kill, so he can even boost his... That's why the numbers haven't died down too much. Uh, 68, though, that's pretty remarkable. That's a, that's a very good lobby, if I'm being honest. Normally, by this time in my games, I want to say my player count is in shambles. There's usually like 40 people left. <laughs> um, people die very quick. They usually land peak. Uh, but a lot of players now, uh, with the plane meta, they'll grab an airplane from... Uh, the mine area there's a plane that's right next to mines like a little airstrip and they'll take that immediately to peak and they'll kill everybody on top but there are a couple solutions that people have asked like do you want to remove like the planes like add fuel to them so they can run out of fuel that way they don't last for like 30 30 minutes or the idea would be limit the ammunition that way, if you're using the plane, you can't just stay in it for the entire duration. It just becomes kind of worthless at a point, and there's no ammo. But currently, you just have unlimited ammo, unlimited fuel, and the planes themselves don't really have a lot of health. It's just most people don't shoot at them because by like when you try to shoot at them, you're almost exposing yourself to them. So you have to wait till they go by, then you can shoot at them safely. Uh, if you try to shoot at them while they're dive bombing you, it's going to down one of you. And then your teammate's going to come running over there trying to save you. And if he's not quick enough, by the time they'll just like 180, go up in the air, do a 360, and then turn around and just come back and kill you. Uh, and they'll knock your teammate as well. So it, it doesn't work. But look at his target acquisition. He has some really good flying abilities here. I'm always impressed. Uh, most people who are doing this are on controller. Uh, flying on keyboard and mouse is very difficult. I know somebody just in the chat asked. And the main issue for that is when you're on a controller, you can use a joystick to like press right or forward. And it's a constant nice. signal. Like it's like a constant pressure of like that signal being sent in. So if you want to turn right, it's just a constant. It'll just keep going right. But on a mouse, you have to move the mouse, but you run out of a mouse pad. So once you go so far to the right, you run out, you got to pick your mouse up, move it over and then pull it back. It, it You know, it's like a delayed signal, right? So you can't, 
you can't move the mouse consistently across like you can with the with the joystick um so that having that delayed kind of like reaction isn't good either uh you notice that when you get stun grenaded as well like you're trying to turn left to shoot a guy and you're and you're like moving the mouse like this up and down up and down really quick to like turn uh we're on controller you just click a button and the guy just continues to move so there's a big 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 advantage there um i have a huge mouse pad so i i even still run out of room because i play on a low sensitivity and when you're stunned or when you're trying to use the plane it just doesn't have enough enough distance or range so you really have to change your settings to make piloting on a plane uh on keyboard mouse easier and it's not it's i'd say i would prefer using a controller like 20 to 1 like it's just so much better but i don't know like i'm uh you can see there's a fire sale right now he's got 54 players up and he's dropping 45 kills and people have asked you know like what do you think of world records are world records bad you know trying to use the plane to get them i think it's definitely a clickbait thing in order to get like a high kill gameplay um is it skillful i want to say no because you're just shooting a machine gun using the aim assist and then dive bombing over and over and over you're not really fighting players one-on-one -on -one. you know you're shooting at players that can't realistically shoot back unless they're somewhat organized and they have a have a decent team so i think the plane in its current form is somewhat overpowered obviously uh unlimited fuel unlimited gas the aim assist range is pretty nuts so the hitbox is big and people will just spray at you and you know they're they're not really like aiming at you they're aiming near you and they're still getting hits you just down two players right there like literally just down two players right there which is absolutely ridiculous like how fast um but i think part of it too is i don't get mad at players that do this because it's part of the game right if you put it in the game people are gonna use it is it wrong of you to use it no not really i mean why do you think all the pro players and streamers use airplanes to drop high kill games you know obviously they can upload videos and make money on it i'm even talking about it you know that's that's me as an entertainer here discussing it um we all kind of want to make content that's relevant and oh i thought he was gonna hit him oh that would have been really funny that would have been <laughs> if he got to direct him like if he killed a guy out of the gulag that'd be absolutely ridiculous uh but i think for me world records in my mind should be like more skillful right in a sense of you versus another player you outgunning, outmaneuvering, outplaying, outsmarting. And when you're just using a plane and players can't fight back, I feel like it's kind of corny. You know, like I feel like it's not quite the same way. Like it's, it's just not as good as it should be. So I noticed that a lot of streamers or content creators will always put like new world record and they'll put like a plane tag with it or no plane. So it kind of set up this way where people do both. I think I criticize not the player. I criticize the game. I think that's the biggest thing. They do have separate world records though. Like most content creators and streamers will will mention if it's with the plane or without. So the community obviously cares in some sense, like the try the try hard guys. Uh, but I would say that as a whole, it's like I don't hate players that do this. And partly one thing I think people always forget too is content creators who make content obviously for clickbait and for views there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're not misleading people like clearly um nothing misleading here he's gonna drop a world record which is pretty impressive how many kills and how good he's flying this flying this fighter jet but i think the idea is that when you have content creators making content and exposing flaws in the game it's gonna cause it to get noticed more it's gonna get abused more and then eventually the developers are gonna have to make changes to it so some people want to hate streamers for being really good and figuring things out but at the same time they draw enough attention to stuff and they're able to pretty much and they're able to pretty much you know get things fixed or patched kind of in a faster faster like in a faster timeline like they can kind of make devs aware of it and then it also kind of ruins the game for a week or two uh, or a month if you had the DMR. I don't know if you guys remember that. But 
you want to argue like people want to be better and they want to do things to be competitive and they want to have higher kills and have a better game so they're going to find whatever way they can to have an advantage that's just cod that's just fps that's just gaming in general right people want an advantage they want to win they use stronger weapons they use better loadouts um and if you put a plane like this in the game you're all, you're gonna see it like why why wouldn't you um i'm still shocked though that they're actually this this powerful he's got 54 kills with 28 left and most players won't even leave the plane they'll just sit in it till the final circle like this is the fourth circle just closed he's uh fifth circle will close in 27 seconds total like it'll actually shrink to the fifth circle um but he's just still shredding teams and he's still in the same plane the same plane um one plane one game nobody shot at him no one's really trying to kill him i think his teammates in the other plane too which is even funnier <laughs> like, like so you got a duo here just owning the skies just bombing people now the question is will he win this because the the harder issue i think in order for me to get like a world record like to where even if i want to count it regardless of plane or no plane is i think you need to win the match like just getting the kills is cool but i think you need to win the game uh, if you don't close out it's kind of tough and the problem is as you get to a smaller circle players can potentially shoot you out of the plane and then if you have to crash it you land and you and if you can't land on your loadout because i think in fifth circle at the end of the fifth circle they drop another loadout um so if, a, if an enemy's sitting on that and you can't get to it you die because you've been in the plane for you know 25 minutes so that's kind of a problem uh that's running crutches in marley 13 yes correct um i don't know if they win this one or not i haven't watched this to the end and i wanted to share it just because i thought it was pretty impressive i know that he drops a world record in terms of kills but i'm wondering if they're able to close out the game here and actually win it um sometimes you see players getting world records but they don't actually finish the match because they don't have a weapon they don't have a loadout so eventually when the, you know there's only three or four players left or one or two teams left and one plane flying around that's probably at half health if not less they start getting a little smarter and they start shooting at it in the end circle um sometimes they do sometimes they don't but if they shoot it down early they uh they are able to uh pretty much knock you out of the sky and then you're stuck you don't have a gun you know you're, you're, you're like how do i fight three or four players and i don't have a gun so sometimes i see a lot of these plane records where they just lose because of that they just depend on the plane too much uh but i totally understand it it's like why would you get out of the plane where are you gonna loot where are you gonna find a gun outside of your loadout and then even then once you leave the plane you no longer have the advantage of using obviously it's a machine gun to get you more kills so you don't want to leave it too early and you don't want to leave it too late um but you still want to win the match right so the loadout just landed there's 10 teams left 19 players total 17 if you don't count them he's got 57 kills and he had 20 plus kills in like the first like five minutes or three minutes so i guess really the one thing to talk about outside of should planes be in war zone or should they not be in war zone is how can you balance them i think part of it is they want to have they want to compete with like battlefield and bring some of those guys over to call of duty you know it's like if you don't like call of duty and because there's no vehicles it's like well let's add a vehicle um and is it a clever idea yeah i think it's clever to add a plane into the game i think it really is clever but at the same time i would just argue the strength of the plane is pretty nuts um even even in the current world zone meta you know they added the helis in if you're not playing vanguard um they added the helicopters in now those helis themselves have machine guns on them and they can be a little annoying now but it's like did we need them should cars just be for transport or should they be for kills so i think they should either add a fuel gauge and an ammo gauge maybe both um the ammo gauge i can argue like they might not want to do it that way you can stay in the plane longer but i think if you have just a fuel gauge it would solve all problems um you know you can only be in the plane for so long and you can't 
you can't just rely on being in the plane for 30 minutes. I think if they solve that issue, it would solve a lot of frustrations with the vehicles right now because planes aren't used for transport. They're not designed for transport. It's a, it's a single seater plane. So it's literally meant for doing what this guy's doing. That was their intention when they made it. Uh, with choppers and things, the reason, reason they had those was how can we travel across the map and then move from location to location? So they gave you a four seater chopper, right? But in this game, obviously being Coldera and an older version, like, you know, in terms of years, like it's further back, they basically want to make it to where it's like somewhat historically accurate. It's like, well, we got to have planes and they're not as mobile as helis because they didn't really exist. Oh my God, they're still up on top of the building. What are they doing? <laughs> oh my God, I'm like one hit. Yeah, he's absolutely one hit. Um, there are only four players left. He's got 62 kills too. Um, three teams, six people total, four players without, if you don't count Marley and him, he just downed another guy on the mountain. I think he's going to lose his plane here. Oh, don't tell me it killed him. Oh no. Now he's out without a gun. Yeah. This is, this is the problem that I see a lot of players, but can he grab one in time? Uh, so Marley just went down too. So it's a one V, uh, there's, there's only three other players, but two teams. So I think it's like. 11 spectators. I think it's a 1v1v2? No, a 1v1v1 maybe? Three teams, three teams, four players? Oh, it's maybe a 2v1v1. He only has a handgun and he got a tank rifle. If he had an SMG, oh no. I don't think he's gonna win that one. Nope, the tank rifle's not that good. Oh, he should've used the handgun to be... He, ah, you should've used the handgun. He ended up getting third. I'm kind of curious though. Like, I mean, he's not mad about it. Like, I don't think I'd be mad. You just crushed a world record, even though you're using the plane. 63 kills. Marley had 15 as well. So if you add that up, uh, 77 kills. Eight, 78. <laughs> Math is hard. Just between the two of them. That's pretty ridiculous in my opinion. And they didn't really do anything else other than fly around. So I guess the question is, should you have planes in Call of Duty? Or should you not have planes in Call of Duty? Like, is that what you want in Warzone? Or is that not what you want in Warzone? I, I'm not sure. Like, part of me is like old school, where I want you to earn your kills. I want you to get kills and fights um, in, some, in some sense of the way. Like, like I want to see you earn it. Uh, basically hand like hand-to-hand -hand combat you know i want to see you fight with your weapon i don't want to see you just use a plane for 30 minutes um i definitely see how planes have appeal because you can drop a ton of kills it's just i feel like it kind of ruins the flow of a battle royale on its own because i feel like at, at that point you're not so much playing a battle royale you're playing ace combat or you're playing war thunder right you're, you're just using a plane for 30 minutes like are you even playing call of duty like you're you're literally just driving around like with a, with a, with a, a jet like is that is that really engaged in COD or is that something else? So to me the the current state of planes is they're just too strong. But I'm very curious about it though. I'm very 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 curious. No.